Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's a dragon. Time to pee in the litter box. It's a dragon, are we it? You just... Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, just, you just killed the dragon. Sure did. Uh, okay. Hey Pete is going to be very disappointed in you. Pete? Pita. Oh, Pita. As in pita bread. Yeah, as in pita bread. <laughs> or, or pita as in pita oh, pan. Shit. Pita pan? Pita? Come over here, Pita! Come here, boy! Pita? <laughs> so, uh... I got a Fitbit. Oh, yeah, no, you, you got a Fitbit within the last two weeks. Sure did. It's pretty fucking cool. Nice, dude. We are not endorsed by Fitbit, for what it's worth. Yes, we are. No. Don't lie. No. Rolling in the dough right now. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, so I got a Fitbit. It's pretty cool. I've never had one or anything like that. Uh, I'm not really, like, a fat dude or anything, but I figured I eat too much food. So it's like an easy way to like I, I guess I could have just used like my fitness pal or something like that, but um, Oh you already have one? What? Uh my fitness pal? That that's like a uh service, not like a thing. Oh, okay. It's not a physical object, it's a like a website. Service. Oh, oh, okay. And there's a phone app. Yeah, so all it does is like track your calories and stuff. Kinda like the fit uh Fitbit can do, the Fitbit app. Okay. Um but the Fitbit can also like check your heart rate and shit. Check how many hours of sleep you get. Yep, stuff like that. And I that's mean, that's awesome. not very accurate, but eh, it's still kind of like cool to look like comparatively, right? Like, oh, uh -huh. I moved a lot in my sleep today versus yesterday. And like I said, the main thing I got it for was my heart rate. I wanted uh -huh. to make sure that I wasn't like super high heart rate and stuff from how much I eat. And I did notice that like if you eat too much food, uh, yeah, your heart rate does go up in general because it's it has to like because you're processing like, you're pumping blood to your stomach because to, like the what are they called your vest blood uh vessels vessels like because it's like it's like they get more constricted so therefore they have to the, it's called a blood vessel right now i've i've like gaslit so. myself because you said it so unsurely i'm like that Shit, sounds okay. off hey jen bloodstream whatever it's blood vessel yeah yep okay veins vessels so you so see it's like if you eat more like foods with, with more cholesterol, it's like right, you. Go that way, Ken. It's like it's more constricted, so the heart has to pump more blood. Hi, Jan. That's why it pumps faster. Is that how it works? Uh, sorry, I was <laughs> not paying attention. I'm just gonna be honest. What now? If you eat a lot of food with a lot of cholesterol, it constricts your your vessels a little bit, so the, I'm not sure the heart exactly has to pump the cholesterol faster. Cholesterol and stuff works. Whatever. Blood pressure though. So if you have like high blood pressure. That's because. Whoa! Oh Jesus! Holy crap! I didn't know you could do that. That's oh my awesome. god! What's this? I think it's the fire cannon. Oh, radical! I actually thought it was a health upgrade, not the fucking fire cannon. But yes! Oh, ice spreader. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, cool. It's not quite as cool, but okay. Oh no, this is badass. Check this out. Oh, okay, yeah, that is cool. It's pretty cool. Nice. Whoa, you can break that glass. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah, with the super bomb. Um. So yeah, no, I had a fit. God dang it! Back in. <laughs> wow. Right when you entered, it's like surprise, motherfucker. No, I was going <laughs> the wrong way again. Oh, okay. That's all. Uh, I was like, damn. But you know, back in high school, my uh, my daddy, my stepmom, my daddy's girlfriend, got me a Fitbit and. Yeah, no, I, I I didn't use it a whole lot, but when oh. I, I I usually use it to track how many hours of sleep I got because uh. It's, I was curious, like, am I getting enough hours of sleep every night? Because I wake up and I'm always groggy and, like, tired. And sure. Like, so I was... Moi moi tai tai? So I, I think it's... I, I guess the way it works for me is I... Usually I need about 10 hours of sleep, but then 10 again... 10 hours of sleep? Yeah, but then again, I'm not really, like... that. That's probably... Jesus. Oh, fuck uh -oh, my ass. Uh -oh, uh -oh, <laughs> that, would look, that look cool. <laughs> but yeah, like, it, I guess it depends on how much exercise you get too because like yeah it's like i would go to bed at a certain time and be like oh i went to bed at this time and i woke up 10 hours later but then the fit boot would say you got eight hours of sleep it's like oh the fit boot so i don't know i don't know how ah, accurate it is dick nuts wow the best kind of nuts yeah no um it's not it's just based on motion Okay. So I can't really tell if you're asleep, it's just based on if you're moving a lot. Oh, so it's is like, it like one of those? Is it like one of those pedometers in the 3DS? 
Kind of, but it's better now because it also has a heart rate monitor, so it can combine like movement plus your heart rate to determine, ah, oh, most people who are sleeping, their heart rate slows, you know, by this percent, this person's probably asleep right now. Okay. Oh, it slowed even further, they're probably in this stage of sleep. Are, like like they're in REM sleep now, or they're in yeah, this stage. Yeah, exactly. And Deep sleep, REM, light sleep. Yeah, exactly. The five stage, or four, whatever stages of sleep. Yeah. I learned that in college. Yeah. It's something I actually do kind of remember from my Ooh. school days. Didn't you also get like a sleep test one time? Uh oh yeah no yeah I did get a sleep test. I don't know if you want me bringing that up or not. No 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 of course not. I think it's fascinating. Like, no I'm not sensitive about it. Yeah no at some point last year I was like um I was wondering am I getting enough sleep? Because mm -hmm. there have been times in the past on occasion where I would be asleep and while I was dreaming mm -hmm. I would have trouble breathing oh. like in the middle of my dream. I would feel like I can't breathe as well. Huh. And it's because Damn. I was, like, probably sleeping in the wrong need kind of position. Here, oh. Well, honey. Uh, excuse me. So what I did was I was like, huh, I don't know. I, I, I did get my, uh, get some surgery a few years ago. Like, I got my, uh, tonsils taken out and I got my septum fixed. My septum was actually, uh, you know what a septum is? Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a septum is a part inside your nose. Think of, uh, like... A bull, like okay, it's it's common now in humans to have septum piercings, and it probably was a long time ago too. But if you think of the stereotypical ring that goes around a bull's nose in between their nostrils, mm. that's called a septum piercing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, my septum was actually a bit uh, like kind of off. Uh, deviated septum. Yeah, it was a bit deviated, so they had to fix that. So, but I still felt like on occasion, like because before that occasion, like I remember one time I was uh, sleeping. I, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, <gasps> <gasps> like, yeah. I just could not breathe. And huh. my girlfriend was next to me. She was like, James, are you okay? I'm like, oh, I'm fine. Uh, Damn. It was freaky, but luckily since then it hasn't happened as much. But yeah, I, I got a sleep study last year to just verify and make sure I don't have sleep apnea or anything. Yeah. And yeah, it turns out I don't. Nice. I guess just any time I have trouble breathing, it just means I'm sleeping the wrong way. Fuck. So yeah, just try not... I mean, I know you can't really control everything about what happens to you when you're asleep. Because <laughs> you're kind of, you Speak know... Speak for yourself. <laughs> Does Elliot always have an out-of-body experience? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you? I'm a magician. Um, Wait, what? Can I go up here? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We solved, you solved the puzzle. Fuck yeah. Uh, Oops. Fuck! <laughs> I, oh I found the answer! <laughs> I just want to I just wanna add in, like, a... A deafening scream, like, ah! every time you fall in the lava. Because <laughs> I know it's like, there's no pain, actually, because she has that suit to protect her, but, yeah. Yeah, buddy. It'd be funny if it was like, ah! Yep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm fucking kidding. That would be fun. You should. You should do, like, a Tarzan, like, oh! <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, yes. So, yeah. Cool, that's interesting. Sleep and stuff like that. But no, the, the Fitbit, I've been eating less food and oh, shit. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, man. I've been eating less food and uh, paying more attention. <clears throat> I've got, like, more energy and stuff overall. It's cool. Elliot, Except right now, I'm tired. Fucking Elliot likes to go silent sometimes. After I say something and I seem super excited about it, like, I should, dude, we should do this. Wouldn't that be cool, though? He just goes silent to make oh, it. I'm like, the devourer of hype. If there is too much hype, I will devour it. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> um. So what's new with you, Scooby-Doo? What's new, Scooby-Doo? They're coming after you. Did you have a favorite na, 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 TV na, na, show when you were a little kid? Oh, no, we've already talked about this. But, uh, oh. you know, we, it's funny. Yeah, no. Did. During our Yeah, during our banjo. <laughs> remember in Clickety Clackety Wood? In nope. Banjo-Kazooie? Uh, in banjo Kazoopal when we got to Click Clack Wood, we talked about Rugrats and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember now. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I know my, my favorite show is, as a kid was Chalk Zone. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I like right. to make fun of Chalk Zone a lot. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, you, you've never seen it. Where it, the fuck do I go? If you hate or like, if you love Chalk Zone, like this video. If you hate Chalk Zone, like, like and subscribe. Video. <laughs> yeah. What's Chalk Zone? It, it was like this, it was a show. 
I may have already told you this on the show, but it, it was a show about this kid named Rudy. Rudy to booty. Rudy to booty? <laughs> he was this kid who, he somehow found this oh, yes. magical chalk. You, you, yes. And he, if you uh, draw something on the board, chalkboard, once it gets erased, it comes to life in this place called Chalk Zone, where all the drawings go. No, I, I remember the show now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, do remember it, that. It, it wasn't horrible, but it, it was definitely... I don't know. It's more on the corny, weird side. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it has its fans. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like to rag on it just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> was it actually a bad show? I don't remember who was No, it, it wasn't awful. I, I, I kind of enjoyed it as a kid, but looking back, it's like, yeah, that, that was cool. the, the theme. I like the, it's It has one of those theme songs where it's like, oh, no. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Ah! Next time on Royal Goobs, we get up there. And we talk about Chalk Zone.